Hello, today is Friday, April 23rd, 2021. Welcome to my raptor watching video. Is there an osprey somewhere nearby? I can't seem to find the osprey. Oh, here's the osprey right here. Oh, too late. Uh, he's just upset because I spotted him with my camera. Uh, he's just a very strange osprey. I think that's fearless, Tom, but I'm not like exactly sure. As soon as I moved the lens to zoom in on him, he like saw that movement and he flew off. So yeah, he's definitely camera shy for sure. Man, it's like I can't win. I mean, I could have done it from a further distance. I didn't have to get that close to him, but I like getting close footage. I don't really care, you know? It's okay, Osprey. I don't know what's the matter with you, Osprey. Seriously. Okay, goes over the nest just like last time. Like, I came last Friday and he did the same exact thing. He flew right over to that pole. Actually, it wasn't, was it on Thursday? I think it was on Thursday that he did that. Ah, well anyways, I'm just gonna go get close to this osprey, all right? Hey, I wonder if this mockingbird will let me cl get close to him. Maybe about right here. I'm gonna get closer. By the way, I'm not zoomed out all the way. This is zoomed out. I'm just gonna walk on the outskirts, kind of walk sidestep a little bit. Wouldn't it be nice if an osprey let me get that close? I know that would never happen. So yeah, see, look, mockingbirds on that fence. There's another mockingbird very close to me. And there's the osprey up on that pole right there, okay? All right. I'm going to set up base right here, okay? I don't want to take any chances, okay? All right, so I'm going to set it here and I'm going to set my tripod. Now that my camera's situated on my tripod, now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this male osprey right here. I'm going to zoom in on Tom. I decided to name him Tom, okay? And he's just preening right now. Not sure where the female is, but there is Tom. Huh, yeah. This isn't really the best angle. Could have gotten a better angle than this. But the question is, do I want the Osprey footage or not? I mean, I do want the Osprey footage. Also, I need to put bug spray on me. I better, I better get right to it. Just in case. Uh, where's my bug spray? It's here somewhere. Oh yeah, all the way down here. Yes. So I'm just gonna put this on me. All right, so far so good. Now there are gnats out here, unfortunately. But that's, that's okay. Hmm.
Let me just tilt that up a little bit, okay? Hmm. Okay, so, so far so good, right? I just don't know what's up with this Osprey vine. Why won't he let me film him up on the tree? Why, why does he fly away to the nest every time? I'm not going to do anything. I, I'm just kind of baffled by it. And also, where's the female at? Kind of wondering there. Is the female in the nest? Like, I'm not sure. So I only saw the male here. But, you know, it's weird. The weirdest thing is I saw the female in the nest. No, wait a minute. That's right. Okay. Yeah, the fem the female was in the nest yesterday with the male. The female was in the nest while the male was on the outskirts of the nest. But the female then decided to fly off to No, wait. The male the male was in the nest actually. Yeah, sorry about that. The male was in the nest and then the female was on the outskirts of the nest. And then the female jumped and flew up to the last light pole to the left of the nest. And then she flew over to this light pole that's over at the edge of this field here. And that was where I was able to get really close. So I have filmed this male up close before while on the nest. I think I can do so again. In fact, the very first time I filmed this male was like a month ago. So if he was able to let me get close then, he should she he should be able to get let me get close now too. There's something that I want to try to do. Okay, now this is a little bit risky and I could end up losing all the footage from this. I'm going to get behind him. Now I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to wait a few minutes and then go ahead and start doing that. Now it looks like this Osprey's content right now. He's preening. Preening's a good thing. You always want to see an osprey preening. So we'll just wait.
tilt it up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. All right, so this is my my main plan. Okay. My main plan. I really don't have a plan. I'm just going to try to get close to the osprey. I mean... He's still preening right now. I remember last time I was getting all my crap together. The female flew off. And I was like, right here. I mean, nothing's a coincidence. Everything happens, like, all the time. Like, the movement is what... It's... There's just something about the movement. Raptors are so sensitive towards movement. There's days that I wish I was a raptor, that way I'd know, like, why, why I act like this, like, why there's things that happen, like, why, why wouldn't Osprey fly from one place to another because of movement? Why would this, why would my movement matter? I'm not competition for this Osprey. I'm not a fisherman. I mean, there are fishermen out there, but... I don't think this, these Osprey even really see, see them as competition. Alright, so let me try to see if I can get closer. Because I'm all about the close-up footage. I mean, I'm satisfied with this. I'm satisfied with this camera. I like this camera. It's one of the most powerful cameras out there. I still want to get close. I want to get underneath this Osprey. But the thing is, this Osprey is not going to let me do that. So I went just a few steps. I'm gonna set up shop right here. I don't wanna scare off this Osprey. Like, that's it. Like, that's the limit. I think the Osprey is, is trying to tell me something. It's trying to tell me that you got too close. That's it, all right? That's fine, okay? That's that's perfectly fine, okay? We're we're good. We're good with this. Yeah, now he starts preening again. Of course. Mm mm mm. I can zoom in. Oh, that's it. That's as far as I can go. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, so far so good, I guess. So he's not quite doing as much preening as I expected. I do want, I do know one thing, these gnats are annoying. Mm, wow. Uh, yeah, 
So far, so good, right? Osprey's looking at me. Osprey is looking at me. That's Tom. Hi, Tom. Mosquitoes, man. These mosquitoes are, man, they're intense. I don't think this mosquito spray even works. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, since the Osprey's not preening anymore, I guess I'll just have to keep filming him from right here. He likes looking at me. Yeah, the only thing is he's keeps turning his body so quickly. Is there any point in me even like is there, is there any point in me even trying to zoom in this close? All right, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if while I'm filming this osprey, if I can give this osprey my fish. You think it's doable? You think it's possible? I mean, I know it's, you want this fish? Okay, hang on. You think, you think you want this fish? Uh, it's never gonna work. Let me just try this, I mean. Hmm, what should I do? What should I do? I know the Sospray is like looking and preening. You want this fish? Is this Osprey ever hungry? <laughs> kind of wonder. I mean, I can't do anything. I, I try showing a fish and Osprey just keeps standing there. Hi, Osprey. Wait, one. Hey, you looking at me? You know what? I, I think, I think I'll let you take this fish. I'll throw this fish. I'll throw this fish. Hey, one. Hey, don't, don't be looking that way. You be looking this way. You be looking this way so I can give you this fish, okay? One, two. Oh, come on, Osprey. Don't, don't be looking that way. You be looking directly towards me. One, two, three. Yes, bobbing, head bobbing, head bobbing. Head bobbing action. Okay, let me, let me walk away.
All right, so are we good? Probably not. Well, one thing's for sure, the Osprey did bob his head. So what exactly does that mean? <laughs> okay, does that mean it's just sensitive towards the movement? All right, I threw it in a parabolic fashion, okay? I threw the fish in a parabola-like mode. So, if I threw the fish in a parabola-like mode and the osprey was bobbing his head like this afterwards, then surely he saw me throw the fish. Does it not look like a fish? Is it the type of fish? What could it be? Could it just be that my fish is too rotten? I've had it since July, so. But I don't think so. If that osprey was hungry, he would be going for it. And I can see that the osprey is still on the same light pole. Go figure. Like I said, I did walk away and nothing happened. So we're still in the same situation that I was always was in. Uh, it's just not good enough. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not caught out for catching a live fish. I, they're just like Cooper. Oh, well, I don't want to say anything. They're just like Cooper's hawks. So if you've ever seen a Cooper's hawk, a Cooper's hawk does not scavenge for meals. A Cooper's hawk only hunts for meals. So they prefer live prey over something that's not moving. Now that, that fish was not moving. That fish was just being thrown like an object. I think that's the biggest problem. I, I can't make that fish move. I mean, other than the fact that it's being thrown. So then, what do I do now? I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. I have no idea. I mean, I could use my drone to try to deliver it to the Osprey, but you know this Osprey is not going to go for that. And even if I do deliver it to the nest, what makes me think the osprey is going to see it, you know? Okay, here's the osprey. Okay, I made it back. Fish is still there, isn't it? Yeah, sure enough. Hmm. At first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? So let me grab the fish and try again. I just can't figure out what could be wrong. Like what, what is it that is causing this osprey to not want to grab that fish? If he's bobbing his head back and forth, and that's certainly hunting action. So what could the reason behind this be? I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna grab the fish right quick. But I do have to wait 32 seconds because my recording's about to stop. So hang on. Yeah, he, he knows that fish is there. He knows it's there. But he doesn't wanna grab it because he's not hungry. Maybe that's not really hunting that he's doing. Maybe that's just regular head bobbing. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe the head bobbing means nothing. Okay, and my recording's about to stop. All right, I'm gonna give this a try here. Oh boy. Hang on, I gotta pull this out. Let me grab my things here. 
I gotta grab the fish. <laughs> you think the odds of me doing that? What are the odds? I'm literally laying down on the grass trying to grab a fish. That has to be the most embarrassing thing I can think of. This has to be the worst thing. <sighs> I've come back. I, I, I still have the fish too. Okay, all right. So you think he's gonna go for the fish strike try throwing it again? Uh. Let's see. All right, Um. so yeah, I don't know. I kind of give up at this point. All right, I'm still gonna get closer to the osprey, so I'm just gonna put this back in my in my case in my bag. I'm not gonna think about feeding. <coughs> I'm not gonna think about feeding the osprey at this point. I'm stopping this. I'm stopping this recording. See if I need to go see if um, the osprey at the other or at the other nest way quick. The mosquitoes are getting so bad. I don't even feel like like staying here the whole time. I don't really want to do that. Okay, let me go. Let me go away quick. I'm. I gotta go get check check on the other nest way quick. Be right back.
good. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's pretty still there. Great. Okay. That's good. Phew. All right. <sighs> I like hanging out with an osprey. It's so great. Mm. If only I can get the full experience, though. Like, this just isn't enough for me. I, I just so long to become a falconer so that I can own a red-tailed hawk of my very own. Not an osprey, but a red-tailed hawk. Maybe even a red-shouldered hawk. Uh, there's some falconers that can, that do own ospreys, but the problem with ospreys is once they catch a fish, they fly to, to a high tree somewhere to eat it. So it can be hard to control how much food they end up consuming. And then as an end result, just like all other raptors, they won't return to the falconer if they've already had too much to eat. So basically that's kind of the gist of it. Ospreys are harder to train because they're always focused on the water. I don't know like how falconers feed their ospreys. I haven't really looked into that. But there are very, 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 very few that exist that actually own ospreys in falconry. It's almost unheard of. And they aren't like comrades. They're, they're nothing like those kind of birds at all. These raptors are extremely solitary and they don't have a sense of wanting to hunt in cooperation. Like they only do it because they absolutely have to. And in many cases, a person that's helping an osprey is just helping it survive. There is no other purpose to the osprey. I'd love to try to get closer if I could. But then I'm going to be kicking myself when I go home. It's like I'm going to be thinking is this osprey okay? I know that's that's like kind of like like a question that I shouldn't be asking myself. Is this osprey okay? Cuz now he flew way far away and now I have no idea where he is. Do you see why that's a problem? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just stay right here until I start losing focus of the osprey and then I'm going to get going.
Oh, here, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Okay. And just as I expected, they, they both started mating. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, man. Uh, the focus was bad. Okay, yeah, that's the only thing with them going, doing it this close, or this close to sunset, is that my focus is getting bad. Okay. Oops. Mmm. Yeah, so there they are in the nest. I can't see them because, well, they're in the nest. Yeah, so she's just happy to be home. It's like, I'm back, I'm back. I've had a long day, but I'm back. The female's always the most vocal one. Always. And these aren't territorial calls, by the way. <laughs> They're definitely mating calls. Yeah, I can't really see anything that's going on. I'm not going to get too close, I promise, okay? I promise I'm not, okay? I'm going to keep it safe. They are home. They are home. Okay, they're happy. Okay. That's all that matters. And they're home safe and sound. Okay. I have no reason to try to get closer to them. Just because I want to get better footage. There's no footage in the world that... That can change the fact that... Uh, these ospreys would be afraid of me. All right, let's zoom in one last time. Yeah, I guess that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Yeah, so that's the male osprey, and then the female is like deeper into the nest. You just can't see her from this angle. All right. So that's it. That's all the footage I got for today. Okay, and since I have work, like, every day this week, except for yesterday and today, today's my only day, full day off anyways. So hopefully you enjoyed the footage, and make sure you like my posts on Facebook. My Facebook is facebook.com slash jeremy.herzl. So it's facebook.com slash jeremy.herzl. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Until next week, I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. One more thing. Okay, let me just zoom this in one last time here. So you can actually see both Osprey right there. I just can't zoom in any further because of the focus will start crapping out on me like that. So, um, the female is on the right and the male is on the left. Yeah, the one that, that's making calls is the female. Now that's getting darker, the calls are going to start getting quieter. So yeah, there they are. Together, in the nest. They're going to roost together. As they should be. <laughs> they should be sleeping with each other. Exactly. Alright, I'm out of here. I will see ya later.